Good morning. This morning we read from Acts chapter 25 and we read uh, the first 22 verses of that chapter. Uh, Felix has now been replaced by a new governor. His name is Festus and Festus is getting to know his uh, new uh, area that he's in control of and he goes up to Jerusalem, meets the Jews there and they raise Paul's case with him and ask, Fest uh, ask Festus if he will bring Paul to Jerusalem. They planned to ambush Paul on the way down. Festus took them all to Caesarea and began to hear the case there. Um, and, and then I asked Paul if Paul was prepared to go to Jerusalem to face ch the charges there. Paul said he wasn't knowing about the ambush on the way and appealed to Caesar. Paul here uses the protections uh, of the state uh, for the for it the, the benefit of the gospel sometimes when the state provides protections for uh, people that it's, it's uh, right it's okay for Christians to use those protections Christians do not seek martyrdom but if martyrdom comes our way we take it and that's what Paul said he said I'm prepared to die uh, if I've done something worthy of death if the if the Roman Empire thinks I've done something against them I'm prepared to die for my faith but um, I, until that time, I'm going to use the uh, protections of the Roman system to protect me. So we are not seeking for martyrdom. We're not trying to provoke martyrdom. We're trying to preserve our lives so that we can serve the Lord on the earth as long as possible. But if it comes our way, then Christians take it. So Paul appeals to Caesar. And then King Agrippa visits Festus and they hold a discussion together. And interestingly, in that discussion, uh, Festus reports that they brought charges uh, against him, uh, which, had, uh, which were about their own religion, and a dead man named Jesus, whom Paul claimed was alive. I am at a loss to investigate such matters. The world is at a loss to investigate such matters. It's true. The re uh, I was reading a uh, history of the church recently, written by a secular historian, and his comment was, uh, for a secular historian, it is impossible to investigate um, the claims of resurrection. It's impossible for a secular person to uh, investigate the claims of resurrection. These we receive by faith. We trust the testimony of those who were there. We trust the impression of the Holy Spirit in our hearts. We can't prove conclusively that Jesus rose from the dead, but we believe it because of the eyewitnesses and because of the drawing of the Spirit in our hearts. Festus said what many say, I'm at a loss to investigate such matters. They can only be spiritually discerned. The Lord bless you today. Amen.